Steam scams are on an ultra high. People's accounts are being stolen. Privacy invaded. Are you a victim? Stay tuned because you don't want to miss that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, we will be discussing on how to keep you safe from all of these nasty Steam invaders, scammers, whatever you want to call them, pirates. Arr. So let's jump right in. Introduction. Hey everyone, welcome to our guide on Steam security. Today, I'm going to show you how to keep your Steam account safe from threats. 1. Strong Passwords Let's start with strong passwords. Your password is your first line of defense. Use a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. For example, str0ingp at sswrd is a good format. Avoid common words or easily guessable information. A password manager can help you generate and store complex passwords securely. Next, let's talk about multi-factor authentication, or MFA. This adds an extra layer of security. MFA protects your account even if your password is compromised. Here's how you set it up on Steam. Go to your Steam settings, navigate to account security, and enable Steam Guard. I recommend using an authenticator app for MFA instead of SMS codes for better security. 3. Exploiting vulnerabilities in Steam. It's crucial to understand how attackers exploit vulnerabilities in Steam. Here are common methods they use. Phishing. Attackers create fake login pages that mimic Steam's site to steal your credentials. Always check the URL and ensure it's legitimate before logging in. Malware. Malicious software can infect your computer and capture your login details when you enter them on Steam. Keep your antivirus software up to date to protect against malware. Social engineering. Attackers may impersonate Steam support or friends to trick you into revealing account details or clicking on malicious links. Always verify the identity of anyone asking for sensitive information. 4. Creating fake websites. Attackers often set up fake Steam websites to deceive users. Mirror sites, exact replicas of the Steam login page are created to capture unsuspecting users' credentials. Redirects and pop-ups, users may be redirected from legitimate sites to phishing pages or encounter pop-ups urging them to update or verify account information. Domain spoofing, attackers register domains similar to Steam's official domain, e.g., steampowered.com versus steampoyard.com to confuse users. 5. Cloning mobile numbers and account recovery weaknesses. Attackers exploit weaknesses in account recovery. SIM swapping. Attackers convince mobile carriers to transfer a victim's phone number to a SIM card under their control, allowing them to intercept SMS-based MFA codes. Account recovery manipulation. Attackers may exploit security questions or access compromised email accounts to gain control of Steam accounts through the account recovery process. 6. Importance of not clicking unverified links. Never click on unverified links in emails, messages, or websites claiming to be from Steam. They can lead to phishing sites or download malware onto your computer. Always hover over links to check the URL before clicking. 7. Being cautious with messages from contacts. Always be cautious of messages that seem unusual, such as offers to trade Steam keys or boost your account. Verify details like time zones and confirm through other means if possible. Responding in your native language can sometimes expose scammers who are not fluent. If you suspect a scam, block the sender and report it. Conclusion By following these comprehensive tips, you can significantly enhance the security of your Steam account. Stay vigilant, use strong passwords, enable MFA, and be cautious of phishing attempts and fake websites. Protect yourself from online threats and enjoy a safer gaming experience on Steam. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy making this episode. As you can see, it's a tad different from my normal episodes of how I would generally make it. I just thought this is a nice addition to the channel. I'm quite new with this. I'm not a 3D guy. I'm not a, I'm not a very creative person, but I did try and do my best. I will try and do more 3D animations in the near future. Maybe put some cool graphics for you guys inside the video. So I'm looking forward to this new venture of the channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.